thank you for watching the pdf world videos this is the final video of uh, our learning process we'll see about the learning steps we'll try to print this learning letter in this session let's see what are the learning steps in sap business one first is the wizard option uh, you can select whether to run a new dunning wizard or uh, to load a saved one that you have saved earlier second step is the parameters uh, commonly known as general parameters you can modify the name of the default dunning wizard and uh, choose the dunning level as well third step is where you select your business partners for whom you want to run this dunning wizard you can choose from a range of the customer codes or you can simply select a single business partner uh, step fourth is the document parameters you have to enter the range of the posting and the due dates to include in the wizard that means you have to define the range for this wizard to run and that run for this wizard will contain all the documents within this date range in addition you can select the relevant document types and uh, other letter parameters for example you can allow negative dunning letter or you can choose to display all the open items step 5 this recommendation report you can enter a new date for which payments are expected and select invoices that are included in the wizard for each customer also sf business one allows you to specify whether to automatically post interest or fees and create service invoices for this purpose step 6 is a recommended service invoices if you select automatic posting of interest or fees of dunning wizard you can view the recommended service invoices and decide whether to add item step 6 is recommended service invoices if you select uh, automatic posting of interest or fees for dunning letters uh, you can view the recommended service invoice and decide whether to add them or not our seventh process is uh, uh, the processing of the dunning wizard in this step you have to select one of the options that we will be shortly seeing and uh, eighth is save selection parameters and exit that is your summary report you can uh, save your selection the parameters that you have given or you can save the recommendation report as draft and exit you can only execute and print later and uh, you can even print dunning letters and exit altogether the result of these processes will be when you execute the dunning run the dunning level and the last date of the dunning letter are automatically updated for overdue invoices included in the dunning run so when you create a dunning letter for a customer the business partner master data record is updated on the accounting tab the dunning field displays the date on which the dunning letters were created for the last time and if you choose to automatically create service invoices for interest or fees the respective service invoices are created as well we'll see these steps in detail in the coming slides this is our step 1 uh, this is our wizard option i can start a dunning run or i can load a saved dunning run this is the second window where i have to mention my general parameters here i have given my dunning name as dunning run dash 01 i have taken dunning level as all and term as all let's see a little more about this window so the dunning name by default the system will display the dunning name calculated according to the formula that is the wizard name plus the system date plus the successive number and you can change the name if required you can see here that i have given it as dunning uh, space run dash zero one so data of the dunning run by default it displays the current date and it is a read only field you cannot edit it right now other things you can see that uh, the dunning level is 
selected by default as all dunning term as all I choose next you can see uh, here I have to select my business partner the range of the business partners this is our step 3 I choose next this is the third window that we are seeing and uh, the step fourth of the dunning wizard here you can define your document parameters we'll quickly see each of the fields in details and uh, let us try to understand how these document parameters will affect the forthcoming steps so there is a posting date by default displays the current date however you can enter a different range to include in the dunning wizard due date from to select the documents to include in the dunning wizard by entering a specific due date or due date range document types include payments not based on invoices that means include payments that are not based on the invoices include credit memos not based on invoices include manual general entries and this will enable you that the dunning wizard run considers manual general entries created for selected customers also there are some letter parameters you can choose to allow negative dunning letter that means you specify whether the application should generate a dunning letter if negative document amounts exceeds positive ones second is display all open items that means the system would include invoices and manual general entries of type invoices that are not yet eligible for a new dunning letter five is a recommendation report so in this step you can set the date by which you expect payments from the customer modify the relevant columns and change the selection of invoices to be done this is an important window because it gives a detailed view to the user who is uh, running this wizard let's see some of the fields here uh, so that we can learn why they are given here you have the customer code what I can do I can simply click on this inverted triangle here and I can collapse this section I can again click and I can expand this section this is my letter number this is the level of the dunning this is the customer name you can see the documents associated with this customer and in turn with this dunning run the due dates of these documents last dunning date you can see the document amount related to these documents and open amount interest percentage interest days calculated up to this date of dunning rate this is our sixth and seventh step of the dunning process now system would skip the step sixth of uh, the dunning process because of the settings within the system this is our seventh step you can see this is the processing window I have some option here I can save selection parameter and exit I can save a recommendation report that we just saw as draft and exit I can execute only print the dunning letters later and exit I can print dunning letters right now and exit let's see these options in details first is the save selection parameter and exit this saves the selection parameters but not the recommendation report it is possible that the next time you run the dunning wizard the recommendation report will be different due to new or paid invoices second option save recommendation report as draft and exit this means creates dunning letter based on specific recommendation report in the future in addition invoices credit memos and payments included in or will not be covered by other dunning runs you can cancel the same recommendation report as well third option is execute only print later and exit that means uh, the run executes and exits the dunning wizard for all the selected customers and documents 
if in the previous steps you choose to automatically post interest or fees by creating service invoices the following system message appears that says service invoices will be added do you want to continue if you choose yes the wizard is executed if you choose no the wizard is not executed and you can go back to the previous step 6 and select not to post the service invoices the last step is print dunning letter and exit this means the run executes all the things that we have given in the step previous to this step and prints the dunning letter you can post those printed dunning letters through email or fax or uh, you can drop by to your customer mailbox and uh, you can just remind them of their unpaid amounts this is the dunning letter that we get this is one of the dunning letter in a single run you can have hundreds of dunning letter that can be printed this is again our dunning history summary report thank you